Hey YouTube, it's my birthday and I am coming and giving you guys face, life, body and everything. I'm going to be showing you guys how I basically get my life together when I am going out for my birthday. So as you can see, I already applied Dermalogica Stress Positive Eye Lift and I just rubbed that in my eyes. Then after that, I am applying the Rose Oil Blend and the Moisturizer from Pixie Beauty. Then after I do my little dance, I'm actually gonna be applying the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. This is my holy grail. Like this is the best primer ever that I got from Ulta Beauty. It's bomb. Now I'll be using the OPV Beauty Stick Foundation in the color Chestnut and I'll basically just be putting that all over my dark spots. I am working on my dark spots. I don't really have bad acne, active pimples or anything like that. But this is what I use to basically cover that up. So next I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the color Ebony. And after that I'll be using the LA Girl HD Pro Concealer in the color Warm Honey to kind of clean up my lines and make them all fresh and fleeky, you feel me? Next, I'll be using, um, and I do apologize, you guys. I forgot what specific color this is, but I know it's from an Anastasia Beverly Hills, like, singular, one that you kind of, like, make your own palette with, and it's, like, a mauve brown color, and I'll just be blending that out on my eyelid. Hey, best friend. That's my best friend, Dace. That's the night. So now I'll be taking a darker shade from the same Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'll be using it on my outer V kind of just to shape it a little bit before I use the LA Girl Pro Concealer to shape out my cut crease. And you'll basically see how I epically fail and Destiny has to come and save the day. <laughs> How's whooping up is dry dry? Bruh, this is not, this is like a forever to dry. Just stand it, stand it and close your eyes. Mm. This, uh, this for the birds, bruh. Sonny, it's hard. It's not drying? Stop! <laughs> I'm so bad. Well, how much you put on there? That's why. Where's the brush that she used to cut it? To cut your crease. <laughs> you ain't use no brush. Listen, you need a brush. That's why it's not drying. Oh my goodness. So as you can see, Destiny had to come and save me. <laughs> yeah. Now from a Huda Beauty palette, I'll be using like a nice shimmery pink that's like a champagne pink. And I'll be using that with my fingers to apply. Then from the same palette, I'll be using like a beautiful darker pink to basically just start filling in the cut crease. Now we're actually gonna be using that dark brown that I used on the, the outer V um, to basically uh, blend that out. And then I'll be going back to the Huda Beauty palette to get like a nice darker charcoal to define the outer V a little more. Then the same dark like brown that I used from the Huda Beauty palette, I'll be using that to define my cut crease. Then I'm just gonna blend that out to not make it so prominent, just so it kind of blends in with the outer V. Now I'm gonna be using the Better Than Sex Mascara for my barely <laughs> eyelashes that are there. <laughs> They're like, I have none. I don't even know why I'm using it. So these are the iconic lashes. Uh, my friend Destiny, she actually picked them up from the local beauty supply store. And I do have to say, if your uh, local beauty supply store um, has these, definitely pick them up. They're really great, especially for a special occasion. Now I'll just be highlighting my face with the LA Girl HD Pro Concealer in the same color, Warm Honey. And I'm just going to be putting that under my eye. And, you know, as you can see, 
um, over my face. And basically to not make my face so bright under my eye and everything, I'm gonna dull it down a little bit with the Laura Mercier in the color Deep. And I'll basically just be going over my highlighted areas with that. So now to contour my face, I'll be using the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Longwear Shaping Foundation Stick in color 412. As you can see, a little goes a long way. Um, I definitely put on way too much. So you don't need that much when it comes down to this. It's really good. So because that foundation stick is so muddy, I'm just going over some of the areas that it went into with the Laura Mercier powder. So using the NYX Matte Color Gold Digger, I'm going to basically just be shaping the outer portion of my lip. Actually, I think I fill it in all the way. Then I'll be going over just the middle portion of my lip um, with the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Dolce to kind of give my lip some depth and to give it a little bit more shape. And to give it a nice ombre, I'm just going to blot my lip. Now it's time for my hair. So you guys, I got this wig actually from Amazon and I colored and highlighted it myself to give it a beautiful natural honey look. You guys, I am totally in love with this wig. So now I am going to be crimping my hair and I'm gonna be separating it into smaller sections. And I'm so sorry, I don't know where this crimping iron is from. <laughs> my apologies. I borrowed it from my friend. Do y'all see those highlights? <laughs> she cute, what? And I'm just gonna spray this hair to basically hold it with the Aussie Mega Hold. And as you can see, I am feeling myself. And I'm just gonna separate it to style. And I did kind of like separate a little more off camera. Um, basically to give it this nice, beautiful volume. Hey, Crystal. She had just arrived, you guys. <laughs> She's just doing her makeup to do a video shoot too. And I wanted to show you guys where I got my dress from for my birthday. I got the Pretty Little Things dress, you guys. When I tell you, when I first tried this on, when it first came in the mail, it fit like a glove. It was absolutely amazing. Normally when you order stuff online, it can be too small or too little, but you guys, it fit perfectly as you can see. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys getting ready with me to celebrate my birthday. Yay! Please like and subscribe and share the video. Bye.